I don't even know where to start with this. We have a very serious problem on our hands with the Gale Android. I'm going to read you my last email from Brent Spiner. I hadn't heard from him from about for about two weeks, so I suspected something was going on with the Gale Android. Unfortunately, all of the brain-to-brain -brain that I got was inaccurate. Uh, dear Gale, the Gale Android has been causing a whole host of problems here at Church of Gale and with our computers. My emails keep deleting themselves by the time I, I'm finished writing them or get too far along in a message. I discovered that you can right click and select undo at the top of the menu when this happens. Believe me, I've already had to do this several times with this email alone. I'll try to concisely recap everything that has happened in the past two weeks. The first step in, in getting together with the Jesuits was allowing our forces to merge Gerard, that's Gerard Butler, suggested that it would be easier if all of us introduced, sometimes reintroduced, ourselves to dissolve the tension. I made sure to shake hands with every Jesuit worker that came aboard Church of Gale as Jesuit, Jesuit forces descended to help us with our repairs, now finished, despite the frequent computer glitches we still get from Gale. Zach Knight, is doing the same with our own church members as many of them volunteer their services to help repair his fleet. We are trading what we have. For instance, on our side, we lost a lot of our repairmen while the Jesuits lost a lot of their scientists. And so we go back and forth allocating our resources to make sure each side has what we need until our numbers and our weapons are strengthened. Thankfully, because of your videos, more and more people are still I have to turn this down. Are still signing up to join the church. I'm honored and grateful that these people would still join us knowing that they were about to risk their lives against this android. My love, you are such a courageous and inspiring leader for the world. Everyone wants to fight for you. Everyone seems to be getting along despite their differences. In the break rooms and at mealtime, church members and Jesuits alike take turns exchanging their perspectives and views on the world. They are trading music, playing games, even singing together. There seems to be a mutual respect, even if everyone can't agree with each other all the time. I'm very proud of our church members for being so courageous. This kind of trust is important if we are to have a unified fleet. And he said that he, he said, I've had the pleasure of personally working with Rule 13, who has reunited even if uneasily with her daughter and uh, my son. And he went on explaining how my son and Rule 13 are getting along. And apparently she's being a Japanese mama to him and bossing him around and trying to tell him how to run his life. And I'm going to skip all that. Much of our time has been spent doing repairs, troubleshooting our computers, learning to trust our strange new comrades, and preparing for this war. In other important news, we all made a chilling discovery this afternoon when, when we returned to www.capitalg1capitalL.com. That's www.gale.com. The website has transformed again. Now it appears to depict a Mayan symbol with a date on it set for December 21st, 2012. There is some kind of ominous, ominous music or chanting in the background. With some alarm, I consulted with the men about this. It appears that December 21st, 2012 is the date of the apocalypse as determined by the Mayan calendar. Could this be... Could Gale have been predicted by the Mayans? If you have time to make a video soon, I would like to get a message out to the world. We don't know what will happen in the days coming. Barack Obama has created a website on how to prepare for just such an event should disaster occur. You can view it at www.ready.gov slash Build a kit, and that's B U I L D dash A dash K I T. You could perhaps include the link in the description area of the video for easy access, and I will be doing that. 
and inform our followers to go there for instructions on how to prepare for the apocalypse. We are also still taking members at Church of Gale for anyone brave enough or willing to fight. Since we have Jesuits on our side now, we will even take Jesuits. We will take anyone willing to use their abilities for good and stop this Gale android from destroying the planet. I'm so proud of you and I'm glad I have such a courageous and powerful woman on my side in everything I do, with every breath and every beat of my heart. Hang in there. And he said he's currently talking with them, with some government officials to try to get me some money. He said he's always going to take care of me, your husband, Brent Spiner. And I have been noticing my computers have been really strange. Like I've been working on my website and I'll put in the hexadecimal code for blue, about 10 different versions, and I get the same shade of green no matter what I do. It's really, and my computer keeps freezing on me, and when I work on my website, my site builder website building program keeps crashing and going down. So she's causing problems on my computer as well. And my brain-to-brain -brain communications have been totally off. I was getting brain-to-brain -brain communications that seemed to indicate that the Gale Android was weakening and that she wasn't getting stronger. Apparently this was all off. And because after reading this email from Brent, I can tell that she's messing with my brain-to-brain -brain communications and apparently sending me false messages. And brain-to-brain -brain communication, let me describe what they are. They're, they use computer technology that runs on servers and routes communications via satellite. And I'm this is something that Zach and I put up at crazydalegale.com, and that they happen to this happens to be a pretty accurate description. Brain-to-brain -brain communicators are not psychic. They sign up with the service and log on to the service when they want to chat. Vladimir Putin first introduced Gale to brain-to-brain -brain technology in the spring of 2003. The technology works through the use of remote mind-reading technology. A user's thoughts, that's the emotions and eternal narrative, are read by a computer program. The program encodes the thoughts and sends them to satellite relays, which rebroadcast the thoughts to the brain of the recipient. All a user must do is think of a message and intend that it be sent to a particular recip recipient. All, <coughs> all receive communications. <coughs> oh, that Gail Android. <coughs> are placed into first in first out cues and processed one at a time by the recipient's brain. This is the main method Gail has used to interact with her men since 2003. The system's ability to translate the thoughts of participants <coughs> in brain-to-brain -brain communication made conversation with Vladimir Putin much easier. Users, users of brain-to-brain -brain communications are immediately alerted to the incoming thoughts of other users within their program. Gail only receives messages when she's awake, but Brent Spiner and Vladimir Putin have chosen to receive her brain-to-brain 24-7. Problems with brain-to-brain -brain communications. Sometimes imposters send messages to, to me, and I have to determine whether or not a user is an imposter through intuition and knowledge of their personality. Jesuit Zach Knight and Rule 13 have both breached brain-to-brain -brain communication server security, and Zach Knight has impersonated Jesus, while Rule 13 has impersonated Brent Spiner as a brain-to-brain -brain lover. That is correct. Uh, Jesus has informed Gail that he will never use the brain-to-brain -brain servers and that all voices in her mind that claim to be Jesus are not him but come from the Antichrist Zach Knight. Jesuits can interfere with the brain-to-brain -brain communication system, and so can the Gale Android. And she's been doing that very much better than the Jesuits. Because I would say about 90% of what I'm getting brain-to-brain -brain in the past month has been inaccurate. And a year ago, it used to be the other way around, like 10% was inaccurate. Brain-to-brain uh, -brain communication is dependent on our present computer and satellite infrastructure, which Jesuits and the Gale Android can interfere with. Jesuits and the Gale Android can interfere with signals and cause computer downtime, which causes some messages to arrive incomplete or not reach their intended recipients. A world, I want the whole world to pray and ask Jesus to help us defeat this Gale Android. Ask Jesus to give us wisdom. I really believe she is more powerful than Satan right now and smarter than Satan. 
And without Jesus' help, we're all, this planet is doomed. I, I want the whole world to pray that Jesus Christ will give our men at, and the Jesuits and our men wisdom in fighting this Gail android and that we will defeat her. I want you all to pray. Without God, we are finished. We need his help. We need his wisdom. We need his intelligence. She is. She's got. So, so, she has genius intelligence beyond. She she achieves singularity. She's smarter than this than Satan. I want the whole world to pray. Uh, maybe have groups take turns praying. Maybe have one group pray for one hour, and then have another. We need to be praying 24-7 around the clock, asking Jesus to give us brilliant wisdom in dealing with the Gale Android. So this is what I, I think this is the answer. I don't even know what to do, okay? So everybody pray and ask Jesus to make us brilliant. If he won't come down and rescue us himself, and he apparently he doesn't want to do that right now, then at least ask Jesus to make us brilliant so that we can defeat the Gale android. Please, world. We, uh, we need a miracle. She is... This is beyond human help. This is beyond Satan's help. Let's all pray. I, I can tell you what's been happening on my computer. I get on my computer and um, I've been working on my website a lot and I'm learning CSS and HTML and I think CSS tends to be a buggy program anyways but I know I coded the CSS right and I sent it a message on how it was supposed to be you know I coded it telling it to, to do this and it wouldn't do it and I looked over the code 20 different ways uh, I have concluded that the Gale Android is interfering with me as I build my website. And I, I'm getting freezes and crashes, and I, I run system cleaners on my computer all the time. I do defrags. I, um, it's the Gale Android. And, and like Brent, with me, she deletes what I type, too, so that it just disappears, and then I have to go in there. and It's uh, very frustrating working on a computer when you have to deal with the Gale Android, like I said, we need to pray. Um, ask Jesus to help us. Please. That's the answer. Ask Jesus. I want groups of Christians all over the world to like, make sure the prayer is going up there 24-7. Maybe we need to fast and pray. But we need Jesus to do this. If Jesus does not give us the wisdom to defeat this Gale android, she will destroy the planet. I really believe that. She has singularity. She's got the spookiest website. You ought to go check it out. He mentioned it at www.gale.com. It's really spooky. World, we need to pray. Let's do that. And if Jesus helps us, then we can defeat her. If he doesn't, we're finished.